good morning children hope all of you are doing well and all of you are staying safe with the heavy rains and all that we are going through the covid and other things uh, it's a tough year for us yes but i hope all of you are safe and i pray for all of you to be happy so now today we are going to start with our next lesson that is quadratic equations now quadratic equations you have already learned about quadratic polynomials isn't it quadratic means the power of 2 so when you express say a polynomial and if it has power of 2 then it is known as a quadratic polynomial let us look at a quadratic equation now a quadratic polynomial is of the form ax square plus bx plus c a x square this is the power square a x square plus b x plus c where a is not equal to 0 when we equate this polynomial to 0 we get a quadratic equation so when we equate this polynomial that is a x square plus b x plus c when we put that as equal to 0 then it becomes a quadratic equation when equal to sign comes then it becomes an equation so now let us check whether the following are quadratic equations now children what you have learned is quadratic equation should be of the form what is the form you have learned it should be of the form ax square plus bx plus c so it should be of the form ax square plus bx plus c equal to 0 only then we can call it as a quadratic equation now let us look at the first question that is x plus 1 whole square equal to 2 into x plus 3 now if we expand this this is of the form a plus b whole square a plus b whole square is so let me take here x plus 1 whole square is equal to 2 into x minus 3 that is the first question so let us try to solve it i'll not be solving all the questions i'll be solving only few the remaining you can do it on your own so let us take x plus 1 whole square we'll get x square a square plus 2ab that is 2x plus b square is equal to now expand the bracket 2 into x and 2 minus 3 that is 2x minus 6 now let us take all these things to left hand side because right hand side we need only zero so we'll write as x square now you have here plus 2x and here also you have 2x so both the 2x will get cancelled because when you take this 2x to the other side it becomes minus 2x plus 2x minus 2x it will become 0 so we have x square plus 1 equal to minus 6 or x square this also has to come to the other side so x square plus 1 plus 6 is equal to 0 or we have x square plus 7 equal to 0 now is this a quadratic equation now quadratic equation should be of the form ax square plus bx plus c equal to 0 where a is not equal to 0 because if a becomes 0 if this term becomes 0 then there is no x square it is only bx plus c so there is no square term only when you have square term then it becomes a quadratic now let us see here here we got it as x square plus 7 plus equal to 0 now is it of the form ax square plus bx plus c is there bx here no x term is not there here now what do we do if x term is not there we can simply put it as x square plus bx we will simply put it as bx because we have only the condition a should not be equal to 0 b can be equal to 0 so we put x square so x square plus 7 you can write it as equal to plus 7 is equal to 0 can be written as x square plus 0x plus 7 equal to 0 now this is of the form ax square plus bx plus c equal to 0 where a is not equal to 0 therefore you get the quadratic equation any another one uh, any other one that you want to solve all others are quite easy the same we have to multiply and find out just by looking at don't write that it is quadratic equation now let us take this example fourth one i'm taking the fourth one x minus 3 into 
2x plus 1 is equal to x into x plus 1. Now let us to see. We will start with x. x into 2x and x into 1. x into 2x is 2x square plus x minus 6x minus 3 is equal to x square plus 5x. Now what do you get? We have to take all these things to the other side. So we get 2x square. Now I'll take first x square to the other side. So I'll get 2x square minus x square plus x. Now the 5x I'll take to the other side. I'll get minus 5x. Then remaining is minus 6x minus 3. That is equal to 0. Now let us see all the terms together. 2x square minus x square is x square. Here itself you can do, uh, do it. Plus x minus 6x is equal to minus 5x. If you want you can do it over here itself. Or else you can do it, do it in the next step. 2x square minus x square is x square. Now plus x minus 5x and minus 6x. So the answer will be minus 10x. Because this is plus Minus 5x minus 6x it is minus 11x. Minus 11x plus x will be minus 10x. x square minus 10x minus 3 is equal to 0. So this is a quadratic equation because this is of the form ax square plus bx plus c equal to 0 where a is equal to 1, b equal to minus 10 and c equal to 3. You remember this you had learned already how to do this in your uh, ninth standard okay now children let us look at the sixth question now there, may, there must be something special about six when i'm telling you that to skipping all these things that let us see the sixth question let us see sixth question it is x square plus 3x plus 1 is equal to x minus 2 whole square so it is square, this is square. So you'll say, yes, madam, it is of a, a x square plus bx plus c. So it is what is there to check? It is already. But still, even if you see to be saying okay, still let us check it over here. This is equal to when you expand the right hand side, left hand side is already expanded. So if you right expand the right hand side, this a minus b whole square, that is a square minus 2ab, 2 into 2 into x, 2ab plus b square. Now you have here x square plus 3x plus 1 is equal to x square minus 4x plus 4. Now you see here, this side also you have x square, here also you have x square both sides. If you take this x square to the other side, if you take to the other side, it will become minus x square. So x square minus x square, these two will get cancelled. So what is remaining? 3x plus 1 is equal to minus 4x plus 4. 4. Now, and if you take to the other side, you get uh, minus 4x will become plus 4x. So, you get 7x minus 3 is equal to 0. Now, this is not of the form. This is not a quadratic equation because ax square, this is not of the form ax square. Now, you may ask me, madam, as you wrote uh, bx plus c is not equal to equal to 0. Okay. Now you may ask me madam earlier you wrote it as b was not equal to 0 then you put b equal to 0. Similarly can't we write it as 0x square. Can't we write it as 0x square plus 7x but there is a condition a should not be equal to 0. If you write like this then a will become 0. But the condition is a should not be 0 because if a becomes 0 then the power also x square term is not there. So it will not remain as a quadratic equation. So sixth one even though in one glance, you may feel that it is a quadratic equation, but when you expand and see, it is not a quadratic equation. It is just a linear equ equation. So, all these questions, children, you will have to solve and see, make sure that they are quadratic or not. Now, next one. Represent the following situations in the form of a quadratic equation. The question is only to represent. Okay. You are not going to find the solution or anything it is only represent that is you have to show a quadratic equation that is all the first one is area of a rectangular plot now we need a rectangle rectangle will have length and will have breadth area is equal to length into breadth 
the area is given as 528 meter square. The length of the plot in meters is one more than twice its breadth. So what is given? Length is equal to one more than one more than twice the breadth. Twice the breadth that is given. One more than twice the breadth. So what is length? Length we are taking as L. L is equal to one more than twice the breadth. Twice the breadth is 2B plus 1. One more. 2 times breadth plus 1. That is one more. So we get L equal to 2B plus 1. So when you write, rewrite this, you will get it as So children, here you will get it as length is equal to length is equal to 2B plus 1. That is this length is 2B plus 1 and this is B. So what will be the area now? Multiplying length and breadth you will get what is given 2B plus 1 into B length into breadth is equal to 528 meter square. So when you open the bracket you get 2B square plus B is equal to 528 or 2B square plus B minus 528 is equal to 0. So this is the required equation. You, do, you need not solve it. You are just asked to represent the situation. So we have represented the situation children. Now let us see. The product of two consecutive positive integers is 306. We need to find the integers. So we have two positive consecutive. You have to know this word consecutive. You have to find out this word consecutive. The product of two consecutive positive integers. Now children, if one number is 3, the next consecutive number will be 4. That is adding 1, we get the next consecutive number. So if one number is x, then the next number will be x plus 1. Or the, before that, the number will be x minus 1. So this is what we call as consecutive numbers. Okay. So product of two consecutive positive integers is 306. So what is given? If x is 1, then the next number will be x minus 1 or x plus 1. Anyway, you can take x into x plus 1. Two positive integers is 306. Find the integers. So, you will get it as x into x x square plus x is equal to 306. Or x square plus x minus 306 is equal to 0. So, you got the equation children. Now, the third type is. Rohan's mother is 26 years older than him. So we have Rohan. We have his mother. If Rohan's age is X, then mother's age is X plus 26. Okay, because Rohan's mother is 26 years older than him. The product of their ages 3 years from now will be 360. Now, 3 years from now, after 3 years, what will be Rohan's age? After 3 years, now it is x, mother is x plus 2x. Now, after 3 years, after 3 years, Rohan will be x plus 3 and mother will be x plus 26 plus 3, that is equal to x plus 29. Now, what is given? Product of their ages 3 years from now will be 360. The product of their ages. So, product means multiplication. So, we have x plus 3 into x plus 29 is equal to 360. Now, if you expand, you will get the answer. What do you get? x square plus x into x we are multiplying x square. Then we are multiplying x into 29 that is plus 29x plus. Now, we have to start with 3. 3x plus 29 into 3 is equal to 360. Now, if you take 360 to the other side, you will be getting an equation and that is a quadratic equation that you need. Okay, children. Now, let us look at this, children. Uh, a train travels a distance of 480 kilometer at a uniform speed. Now, this is speed. This is kilometer. And then there is time, 3 hours. So whenever a question comes, whether it is in quadratic or linear or anything, there is time, distance and speed. 
you are always have to take distance speed is equal to distance by time so we'll write it over here that is speed is equal to over here we'll write speed is equal to distance by time okay now here the distance is given as 480 kilometer whichever speed you travel the distance remains the same that is 480 kilometer now i'm taking the speed as x then the the time taken as t now in this case time if, if speed is equal to distance by time then time is equal to distance by speed so if you take time to the other side and time is equal to distance by speed so we are taking here a train travels 480 kilometer at a uniform speed let the uniform speed be x now if it is traveling by a uniform speed, a train, train travels a distance, 480 km by uniform speed. So the time taken, time will be equal to, time will be equal to distance by speed, that is 480 by x. Now, if the speed had been 8 km per hour less, so if the speed is 8 km per hour less, then the distance travel remains the same. Same distance they are traveling, but only the speed is reduced. When the speed is reduced, what happens to the time? It would have taken 3 hours more to cover. So, first time was t. Now, if the speed is reduced, it will take 3 hours more. So, that will be t plus 3. Okay. Here we have time t is equal to 480 by x. Here, time is 3 hours more. So, let us substitute here t over here. t is 480 by x. 480x by 3 is equal to 480 by x x minus 8 okay now what do we get this x we have to take it to the other side so we'll get, get it as 480 plus 3x by x we have to take the lcm by x is equal to 480 by x minus 8 now we go for cross multiplication as you go for cross multiplication you'll get 480 plus 3x into x minus 8 is equal to 480 into x that is 480x so as you multiply with x you multiply first you get 480x plus 3x square then with 8 you multiply minus how much will you get minus 8 into 480 that will be 3840 what will be the answer it has to be uh, 3840. So, let's make pen gone. Yeah, 3840. Then you have minus 82 plus 3x. That will be minus 24x. That is equal to 480x. Now, both sides we have 480x and that will get cancelled. Then we have 3x square minus 24x minus 3840 equal to 0. 3 is common. You can divide throughout by 3. So, you get x square. This equation will become throughout by 3 when you divide x square minus 8x minus 1280. Okay. So, that will be our equation minus 1280. This will be the, this will be our required equation. Okay. So children, let us uh, start with uh, splitting the middle term method and uh, let us see how it comes. Okay. Now let us see, find the roots of the following quadratic equation by factorization. The first one is x square minus 3x minus 10 equal to 0. So let us write, I will write at the top because I have given the question in the middle. Just for style I have given in the middle. Let me start answering from the top. x square minus 3x minus 10 is equal to 0. You already know this, so I'm not going to waste much time on this. The product, product, you have to see the product. The product is equal to, that is, we are going to multiply this. It is 1 here, 1x square. So, 1 into, 1 into 10. The last term is 10. So, we have product 1 into minus 10, that is equal to minus 10. And sum, Sum is what is there in the middle term, that is minus 3. So, we have the sum as equal to minus 3. So, we have to find two numbers wherein by multiplying we get minus 10 
but at the addition or subtraction it is minus 3. What are the terms? It can be 5 and 2. 5 into 2 is 10. Product is 10. Sum is. Now, it is not 10, it is minus 10. So, either 5 has to be negative or 2 has to be negative. If both are negative, it will become positive. So, either 5 has to be negative or 2 has to be negative. Now, let us see the sum. Sign is negative sign. For sum, the sign is negative sign. Negative 3 we are getting. So, negative sign the sign will come for the bigger number. So, the bigger number has got minus sign. That means it is minus 5 and 2. So, depending on that, we are going to split it. x square minus 5x plus 2x minus 10 equal to 0. Okay. So, we have taken minus 5 and we have taken 2. Minus 5x plus 2x. Now, what is common here? Common is x. You get x minus 5. Plus here common is 2. You can take 2 outside. Then you get x minus 5 is equal to 0. So you get x minus 5 is common in both. Both here x minus 5, x minus 5. So we'll take out x minus 5. Remaining is x plus 2. That is equal to 0. x minus 5 into x plus 2 is equal to 0. Or you will say that you will take each term and equate it. x minus 5 equal to 0 or x plus 2 equal to 0. So you get x equal to 5 or x equal to minus 2. So, the values are x5, comma, minus 2. x equal to 5 or y equal to uh, or x equal to minus 2. These are the solutions. x can be either 5 or x can be minus 2. In both the cases, you get the quadratic equation correct. Okay. Now, let us check another one. Let us check the third one. So, third one it is root and all you are getting. So, how will we do that root question? Let me do it over here. Can you see? I will do it over here. That is root 2 x square plus 7 x plus 5 root 2 equal to 0. So, first we have to find the product. So, let me find the product. Product is equal to root 2 into this is what we need. A into C. Root 2 into 5 root 2. So, what do we get? Product, we get it as root 2 into 5 root 2 into 5 root 2. That is equal to root 2 into root 2 is 2, 5 into 2 is 10. Product is equal to 10. It is both positive, so it is positive 10. Then we need the sum. Sum is equal to 7. So, here you got sum as 7 and product as 10. So, you have to tell me what are the values. Again, we get 5 and 2. 5 comma 2. 5 plus 2 is 7. So, we get we can again split it as root 2 x square plus 5 x plus 2 x plus 5 root 2 equal to 0. Now, to take out the common term, we can take from here. Uh, I'll rearrange and write it for better this thing. So, I, I have here x as common. Sorry, I'm not able to get the pen. I have x as common, x into root 2x plus 5 plus. Here I have 2 and I have I have 2 and I have root 2. So, from both I can take root 2 outside. So, I am taking root 2 into remaining is x plus uh, root 2x. Root 2x plus 5 equal to 0. So, I get root 2x plus 5 into x plus root 2. Okay. So, from here if I take it to the other side. Then I will get it as root 2 x plus 5 into x plus root 2 equal to 0 or we will get x equal to minus 5 by root 2 or you will get x equal to minus root 2. Okay, these are the values that we will get. Similar way, you can do other things also. The last one, fourth one, if you have any doubt in the fourth case, then you see here, children, fourth question, 2x square minus x, there is a denominator coming, then how to do? If you, if you have any problem with the denominator, just multiply throughout by denominator. So, you will get it as 16x square minus 8x plus 1 equal to 0. Now, it will be easier for you to do. Okay. So, do it accordingly. Find out the answers. A solution this I am not going to teach you because you already know how to do by splitting the 
middle term. In 8th standard, you have done this. You have done this in 9th standard. Now, I just explained, reminded you how to do it. Okay. Now, we'll move on to the next slide. Let us move to the next slide. Find two numbers whose sum is 27 and product is 182. This is very easy. You need to find the two numbers whose sum is. So, let the numbers be. Let there be two numbers. So, sum of the two numbers is 27. So, if one number is x, then the another number will be 27 minus x. Isn't it? Sum is 27. Two numbers you are adding. One number is 5 and another number you are adding it is equal to 9. Means the other number is 9 minus 5. So, we have 20 x and 27 minus x. Then the next part is the product is 182. So, we are getting the product as equal to 182. So, how are we going to do it children? How are we going to find the product? That is, we are going to do it as x into 27 minus x. x into 27 minus x is equal to 182. Now, if you multiply 27x minus x square is equal to 182 or minus, if you are taking x square to the other side, you get x square minus 27x plus 182 is equal to 0. This is a quadratic equation. You can solve it using splitting the middle term. Okay. Find two consecutive positive integers. Now the question is consecutive positive integers. Consecutive. I have told you if one number is 3, the consecutive number will be 4. If it is 7, next will be 8. So if one is x, then the other one will be x plus 1. That is consecutive. First one is 3, 3 plus 1, 4, 7, 7 plus 1, 8. So plus consecutive numbers, positive integers. Now, the sum of this consecutive positive integers, sum of whose squares is 365. So let the consecutive numbers be x and x plus 1. Then the sum of their squares, sum of squares will be equal to x square is, square of x is x square plus x plus 1 whole square. It is given as equal to 365. Now, if you expand it, you get x square plus x square plus uh, a, a plus b whole square. This is of the form a plus b whole square. So, you get a square plus 2ab plus b square is equal to 365. So, you get it as equal to 2x square plus 2x plus 1 is equal to 365 or 365 when you take to the other side you get 2x square plus 2x plus 364 is equal to 0. You can simplify, you can divide it throughout by 2. When you divide it throughout by 2, you will get x square plus x plus 182 is equal to 0. Okay, now you can split and you can find because by multiplying, you get 1 into product is 182 and sum is 1. So, you have to find two numbers where you get the product as 182 and sum as 1. Okay. Now, the next one. The altitude of a right triangle is 7 cm less than its base. Now, this is altitude, this hypotenuse. Hypotenuse is given as 13 centimeter. Hypotenuse is given as the 13 centimeter. That's the longest side. Find the other two sides. Altitude of a right triangle is now this be the base. Then this is the height is this part is the height. Now the altitude is given as it is 7 centimeter less than the base. So this is uh, let us take this as the base. So we have this as b minus 7 and this is base okay so what do you get altitude of a right triangle is 7 centimeter less than its base so altitude is 7 then the hypotenuse what is the connection between base altitude and hypotenuse base square plus altitude square is equal to hypotenuse square that is a this thing. So, base square is b square plus altitude is b minus 7 whole square is equal to hypotenuse square. Hypotenuse is equal to 13 square. Now, we have to expand this b square plus a minus b whole square is b square minus 
2ab plus b square that is 49. 7 square is 49 is equal to 13 square. 13 square is 169. Now you can find out b square plus b square is 2b square minus 14b minus 120 is equal to 0. So now the common term is 2. So you can multiply, you can divide throughout by 2. You will get b square minus 7b minus 60 is equal to 0. So by multiplication you have to get minus 60 and by addition you have to get minus 7. So you find a number such that by multiplying you get 60 and then by addition or subtraction the difference is 7. Then you can solve it. Okay. Now children we will move on to the last uh, question. Now I have taught a lot me today, but quadratic equation, what it is, you already know. Splitting the middle term, you already know. Only the forming, forming the equations and then solving. This word problems, it is little problematic for you. Only those things you need to uh, stress, strain, and then learn. Okay. So let us here uh, look. A cottage industry. The question is given. A cottage industry produces certain number of pottery articles in a day. That is, they are making some toys in a day. Okay, pottery articles. It is given uh, some articles they are producing in a day. It was observed on a particular day that the cost of production of each article was three more than twice the number of articles. So that this is a clue. Okay, the cost of production of each article. That is the cost of production of each article. That was that is equal to three more than twice the number of articles three more than twice the number of articles produced so this is our clue here this is what we will use for making the quadratic equation okay if the total cost of production on that day was 90 so we are given total cost of production total cost is given as rupees 90 now we have to find the number of articles produced so i'm taking it as let the number of articles be 90 then what is the total cost of production for producing 90 uh, x articles total cost is equal to 90 therefore cost of one article for x article it is 90 therefore for one article it will be 90 by x cost it will be 90 by x now what is given on a particular day that cost of production of each article Cost of production of one article is 90x. This is cost of production of each article. Okay, one article means each article. So, cost of production of one article is 90 by x. It is given that cost of production of one article, that is 90 by x, cost of production of one article is equal to what is given? 3 more than, 3 more than twice the number of articles. Twice the two times the number of articles. Now, number of articles we have taken as x. So, we get this is equal to 2 into x plus 3. So, we get 90 by x is equal to 2x plus 3 or this implies you cross multiply. So, you will get 2x square plus 3x minus 90 is equal to 0. Now, as you multiply children, uh, product we are getting product as 2 into minus 90 that is product is equal to 1 minus 180 and sum is equal to 3 so which are the two possible uh, values children the possible values are 15 and 12 15 into 12 is 180 15 and 12 it is 180 and 15 minus 12 is 3 but there is a negative sign here product and sum is positive. That means the smaller number should be negative. So you get, now if you change this and write, you get 2x square plus 15x minus 12x minus 90 is equal to 0. Now if I take x here outside, then I get 2x plus 15 minus, again 12 and uh, 90. I can take 6 outside. You get 6 when you take outside you get 2x plus 6 into 15 is 90.
equal to 0. So you get 2x plus 15 into x minus 6 is equal to 0. Now what do we get children? 2x plus 15 is equal to 0 or you have x minus 6 is equal to 0. Now if this is 0 then x is equal to minus 15 by 2 and here x is equal to 6. Now minus 15 by 2 x is number of articles. Number of articles how many toys you have you can say I don't have any toy that is 0 number of toy. Can you say I have negative number of toys? No. So we avoid this x equal to minus 12. The cost of production the number of toys produced is negative that is wrong we cannot consider that so we'll consider the number of toys produced is equal to 6 now what's the cost of each article cost of each article is equal to 90 by x that is equal to 90 by 6 that is equal to you know find out okay so that is what the answer is come okay that much you do so with this we finish the chapter children whatever work i have assigned you i have just explained you how to do it working out problem you have to do it on your own do it on your own find the answers that is the best way to learn maths and when you get the answer on your own you feel intoxicated okay that is so nice a feel that you are able to solve maths problems on your own there is no other feeling like that so do it on your own feel free feel intelligent Feel that you are genius and then go ahead. All the best.